The 601 Air Operations Center AOC, previously designated as the Air and Space Operations Center plans, directs, and assesses air operations for the North American Aerospace Defense NORAD Command, and the United States Northern Command the AOC provides aerospace warning and control for NORAD Defensive Counter-Air activities. As well as it directs Air Force air capabilities in support of NORTHCOM homeland security and civil support missions. The 601 AOC directs all air sovereignty activities for the continental United States. Mission The 601st Air and Space Operations Center provides strategic air defense, sovereignty, tactical warning, assessment to Commander NORAD and Combined Air Operations Center in support of homeland defense and security of the southeastern United States. The AOC also integrates ground, maritime, and airborne sensors, communications and employs fighter and air refueling aircraft. The organization also interfaces with other services, agencies including USSOUTHCOM, FAA, USCG, and U.S. Customs Service. Topic units Civil Air Patrol, Air Force Auxiliary Civil Air Patrol, the official auxiliary of the U.S. Air Force, is a non-profit organization with over 61,000 members nationwide. CAP flew over 18,000 hours supporting AFNORTH missions in 2018. Civil Air Patrol performs 90% of continental U.S. inland search and rescue missions as tasked by the Air Force Rescue Coordination Center and was credited by the AFRCC with saving 155 lives in fiscal year 2018. Its volunteers are a force multiplier for AFNORTH's critical search and rescue, homeland security, disaster relief and counter-drug missions. CAP provides damage assessment and transport support to federal, state and local agencies every year during natural disasters like Hurricane Katrina, Sandy, Harvey, Florence and Michael. Each year, CAP members train vigorously in preparation for disaster response missions. CAP members play a leading role in aerospace education and serve as mentors to the more than 26,000 young people currently participating in CAP cadet programs. CAP has been performing missions for America for more than 75 years. 101st Information Operations Flight The 101st Information Operations Flight IOF provides non-kinetic operational options to the Combined Forces Air Component Commander CFACC. The unit is engaged in the global war on terrorism as demonstrated by its active participation and continued vigilance in Operation Noble Eagle. The 101st has reshaped the battle space by showing that Information Operations IO is a critical weapon system in the Air and Space Operations Center AOC as well as other venues. The AOC is the eyes, ears, and voice of the CFACC to his fighting forces. The 101st provides important inputs to the Air Tasking Orders ATO executed by the Continental U.S. North American Aerospace Defense Command region. The 101st supports integrated air defense systems in the National Capital Region, National Security Special Events, Security Events for Homeland Security, and Associated Combined and Joint Interagency Task Forces. Past activities include participation in Hurricanes Katrina, Rita, and Wilma relief operations, Major NORAD, USNORTHCOM and Canadian exercises, and operations to support the Super Bowl, Space Shuttle launch and recovery, G8 Summit, UN General Assembly, and the Republican, Democratic National Conventions. 
Joint Based Expeditionary Connectivity Center He Joint Based Expeditionary Connectivity Center was developed in early 2001 as part of the Deputy Undersecretary of Defense for Advanced Systems and Concepts Advanced Concept Technology Demonstration Program. Since September 11, 2001, the JBECC has participated in over a dozen operational missions, to protect the President of the United States, the National Capital Region, the 2004 Group of Eight G8 Summit, United Nations General Assembly, Space Shuttle launches, and Super Bowl 41. The JBECC is a highly mobile, small footprint, vehicle mounted communications asset that can rapidly deploy to build an integrated air picture, from multiple Federal Aviation Administration and tactical radars, within a defined geographical area. This capability enables NORAD to better detect, track, identify, and engage any airborne aircraft, cruise missile, unmanned aerial vehicle, or remotely piloted vehicle. It is the cornerstone in NORAD's deployable homeland air and cruise missile defense mission and a critical asset at America's Air and Space Operations Center. Air Force Rescue Coordination Center as the United States Inland Search and Rescue mission coordinator, the AFRCC serves as the single agency responsible for coordinating life-saving federal SAR services, ensuring timely and effective life-saving operations within the 48 contiguous United States and supporting Mexican and Canadian requests for their SAR operations. The unit's responsibilities include, initiating searches for missing, overdue aircraft e.g., all DOD, commercial, and interstate aircraft or intrastate aircraft if requested by the state, managing all inland emergency beacon searches, and supporting state and local SAR operations e.g., missing person searches, MEDEVAC, organ transport, etc. The AFRCC operates 24 hours a day, 7 days a week and is staffed by one watch supervisor and up to four SAR controllers, 263rd Army Air and Missile Defense Command The 263rd Army Air and Missile Defense Command serves as a supporting command to U.S. Army North for all Army Air Defense Artillery missions as required to detect, deter, divert, and if necessary defeat air and cruise missile threats to the continental United States to include national Capital Region Integrated Air Defense System. They serve as Theater Army Air and Missile Defense Coordinator to ARNORTH Joint Forces Land Component Commander for planning, coordination, integration, and execution to defeat or destroy short- and medium-range ballistic missile threats to the U.S. Northern Command Combatant Commander's designated priorities. When required, they assumes lead operational headquarters in support of Commander, U.S. Element North American Aerospace Defense Command NORAD, for support and oversight of Homeland Defense ADA missions to detect, deter, divert, and if necessary defeat airborne attacks within the NORAD area of operation and provide direct support, Deputy Area Air Defense Commander, to Continental NORAD Region CONR Area Air Defense Commander within the CON in our area of operation. Additionally, they serve as a supporting command to 1st Army and Forces Command for Active Duty Training Readiness Authority for Homeland Defense Army ADA missions. Execute functional coordination with the U.S. Army Space and Missile Defense Command to include new technology insertion and testing for Homeland Defense Army ADA missions. <laughs> 